Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video, a bit of a DIY video, because I've made this little, like, album, and it's got my Once More With Love, Coffee Monster Co, Laura Jane Style stickers in, and it goes in my functional pouch. And it's great, but I'm getting really frustrated because I don't know where anything is. So I want to make some dividers that I can put in here so i can section it off you know like coffee youtube self-care food doctors you know so i can just flip to the relevant um section what i'm gonna do is on silhouette i'm going to measure out the tabs i've got this like it's not acetate and it's not vellum but it it's quite thick like plastic card but it's bendy and it's not too thick so what i'm going to do is measure out my tabs do the dimensions measure them and then i'm going to go on to silhouette and i'm going to de design them and put the tabs on so i'll show you how i do that and then we'll cut them on the silhouette and then we will put them in because i also need to do the tabs for what for whatever tabs I want. So what I'm going to do now is measure these and then once I've measured them, I'll do a screen recording on my Mac so that you can see how I design them. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is the Silhouette software and first I'm going to go to the left hand side and select a shape and I'm just going to draw the shape out. Then I'm going to highlight that shape and go over to the right hand side, which is the transformation uh, button. And I'm going to put in the measurements. These are in inches that um, I want the dividers to be. And I did that by measuring out the dividers. So once I've put the dimensions in and clicked apply, that then will be the shape and the size that I want the dividers to be. Next up. I want to make the tab so I go back over to the left hand side and I use more of a rounded box and I just I guess the size um, at the minute because I adjust the size as we go on next up I'll click on the a which is on the left hand side and just write a word when you write a word in silhouette it'll automatically be like red and red is a cut and because I don't want this word to cut, then I will fill it black and do an outline black. Next up, I'm going to measure up the dividers. Now, I know that I want five down each side because of the size of them. I don't want them to be too small. So I go to the replicate tab on the right and I just replicate them, then highlight them and then stretch them down so that they're all the same size and they fit on the divider like perfectly. And then I think it's 10 or 15 that I need. So because there's five tabs there, I need to replicate the box. So that's all I'm doing. I'm replicating the boxes so that for each divider, I've got enough boxes. So once I've replicated them, I'll just highlight them all. And then I will go back over to the um, transformation and I'll click like a central and it'll bring all the boxes on top of each other central and then that makes it easier when you do your tabs as you'll see as we go on so I'm just doing it again because I need more boxes I'm zooming out so I can see what I'm highlighting and then I'm going to go back over to transformation and I'm going to hit that like diamond button and that centers them all again so however many dividers you want is however many boxes you want and then you center them all and then that'll make it easier when it comes to doing the tabs so i'm going to zoom back in now and i'm going to find my tabs wherever i put them and then i'm going to bring them over now the easiest way i found to do this is bring when you bring the tabs over you need to go over a little bit onto the box else they're not going to stick to the box and they're not going to come out as a tab. So you need to go over a little bit and then like all I'm doing now is copying a tab so that I've got a tab to fit in so I know what size the tabs are for my stickers as you see that, co that coffee's there. 
So what I've done is I've highlighted the box and I press shift and I've highlighted the tab. I highlight the box, press shift, highlight the tab. Then I right click and then I will group them together, which makes them stick. And then I'll right click again and I'll weld. And the welding is actually what takes away the line where your tab is, if that makes sense. So you highlight the box, press shift, highlight the tab, right click group, right click weld. And then you do that for every single one that you want. And it's like as easy as that. Make sure your line, I'm just centering them all together again, but make sure your lines are red because red is what will cut if your lines, or you, you can use any color, but make sure they're all the same color. So now what I'm going to do is take that box that I made earlier and I'm going to lay it on top of one of the tabs. I'm just changing the angle. I'm going to lay it on top of one of the tabs and then resize it using the mouse to make sure that it the stickers that I make will fit in. So I'm making it a little bit smaller than it needs to be. And that will ensure that the sticker fills in, like the sticker fits in properly. So once I've done that, I'm going to take that and I'm going to like change the direction in the transformation section again. I'm going to change the direction to um, horizontal because I just find it easier to do text that way. And I'm going to highlight the word coffee and then resize it roughly to the size of the box. And then I'm going to zoom in. So everything just, it's easier to see everything when you zoom in. So what I need to do now is replicate the coffee 10 or 10, 10, 15 times, however many tabs I'm having. So I'll go back over to the right hand side, press like the star looking button and then replicate it as many times as I need. And then I will highlight the word coffee and click the A on the right hand side and then I'll just go through some fonts and decide what font it is that I want to use on um, the dividers. I have downloaded a few uh, extra fonts and I think that's what I'm going through now and then when I've settled on my font I will then click on each one like double click on each one delete the word coffee and then write in the actual word that I want to use. I did YouTube and Insta here, but I felt like it was a bit long, so I do go ahead and change that to, um, I do, I think I do a separate YouTube one and an Instagram one, but it's super easy. You just double click on the word, backspace, and then write in, and then all the words are gonna be the same font. It's just a quicker way of doing it than each time going to the A and putting in text and, and doing that, etc. So that is what I am currently doing now. I will just speed through this so it doesn't take very long. All this time, I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around. All this time. You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. Now that I've done all of the scripts, I need to make sure that they fit in the boxes, but I also need to replicate the boxes so that I've got enough. So again, I highlight them and I go to the replicate option on the right hand side and I make as many boxes as I need to make. Now, I've, you need to make sure that the box is red but the words are black because if the boxes are black and the words are black and you pick black it's going to cut everything out so you only want the outside to cut and that's why that is red and then the inside is um black so i'll just move those across into the relevant boxes and then i can group them together so i'm highlighting them right clicking and group and i will do that for all of the boxes. I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around. All this time. Now I'm just going to tidy the boxes up so I'll just highlight them in lines and I'll go to the transformation tab and I'll just use these little bar graphs to to line them up. You can line them up left, line them up right. 
it just I like them a bit neater so that it just looks nicer on the page rather than being all over the place. So that's what I'm doing now. I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around all this time. So now I've tidied all them up, I'm just going to highlight them and move them off the printable area. The printable area is the white area that you see. So then I'm just going to start bringing the tabs along. I'm just figuring out the best place to put them. They're not going to fit side by side because they're outside the cutting area. So I have to, I have a play around, I change them, see if I can fit more on than two and it just becomes apparent that I can't, These the size won't fit on the page. So I decide to do them on top of each other like this. So once I've got two on the page and I'm happy, I'm gonna to go to the top right and click send. I'm then gonna go into line and I'm gonna pick a, a cut setting for the red line. And it doesn't really matter what you pick because the material is so thick, I end up manually adjusting it anyway, as you'll see in a minute. But I do pick, I'm just having a look and trying to pick which one. I'm trying to see if I've uh, added the one, the material that I'm already using. But as you can see now, I'm changing the settings, I'm increasing everything. And once I've increased the speed, the cut pressure and the, and the cut settings, I'll then click send. This will then send it to my silhouette so i'm gonna load the silhouette well put the piece of um plastic on the board load it into the silhouette and then it will cut out what i'm doing now is i'm copying just highlighting and copying the scripts that i've done and i'm changing the settings for this document to include registration marks registration marks are what the the silhouette reads in order to kiss cut i didn't need them on the previous one because i wasn't kiss cutting i was cutting all the way through but because i want to kiss cut these the registration marks need to be on i left them as default i copied and pasted those into the, the new document again i went into send i amend the cut settings i've set my own cut settings for the paper and then I click send, load it into the silhouette again, and then it will start cutting. And then that is the second part done. So once they've cut, you just peel them off the back of the mat. Now my blade is a little bit um, dull. I need a new blade, I have ordered one, but they do cut through enough for me to, to just peel them off. Peel them off like that. And then I'm going to do that for all of them. And then I'll be back. So that is my four lots of five. So 20 dividers I have here. And then what I need to do next is hole punch them so that they will fit in my little sticker album that I made so and they did them all at once they're not all going to be exact but as you'll see in a minute it doesn't really matter There we go, so that is them all divided. Now what I'm gonna do is take this apart, take everything off, and sort them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take the back off, so that's the back and the front. And I'm gonna sort them into these sections that I cut out. So I'll just play some music and fast forward through um, me doing this. I might go off camera because there's going to be so many piles, but I'll fast forward through that and then I'll come back and we'll put it all together. All this time, I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around. All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs. Chasing eyes. 
So I've got my first dividers down. So now all I need to do is label the tabs. So the first one is coffee. Tab numero uno. And I'm just going to centre that. Put that like that and then just put it down. The second one is YouTube. Third one is Insta, which is up here. Fourth one is clean, clean washing. Washing and then cleaning. that is the first lot all tabbed up and done so i'll fast forward through the rest and then we'll put it all together by this time i've been feeling hopeless till you came around came around all this time you're the only reason i'm not chasing highs chasing highs what is love them all in sections and them all put together i decided to skip the bit of me putting them in the ring because that's pretty much self-explanatory i've got them all in a good order and it is gonna help me massively i can just feel it in my bones so i hope this video was helpful to you i hope that my silhouette tutorial was okay i'm not very good at doing them it's the first time i've done one but i did want to show you the process because i know a lot of you are interested and I know when I first got my silhouette, there wasn't really many planning things out there. So I will do some more in time as and when I make things. But um, as far as making dividers for this, I think it turned out really, really well. And if you like this video, guys, then give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.